Hey. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, what do we do when we get Javier? Back? Well, uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Then, set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together. Uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you wanna go back? Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. If an insect bite you or something, cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperados on the run. But with the women... A change of clothes? <laughs> We're a choir, or a gang of pilgrims, or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Ay. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. <sighs> you know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us at the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Uh, so, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. Oh, no, that was me. Are you sure this Hercule fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know... When I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Puede callarse ya. Estamos cerca. The door is stopped. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <clears throat> just a... just a bit more. Aquí, aquí arriba. 
Kira. This way. See. Si. Then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What do you do? Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I'm just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive, no matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. <laughs> Are you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. You. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso no fue para tanto. Sí que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. ¡Vamos, carajo! ¿Qué hacemos contigo, puta? ¿Cómo me haces? ¿Cómo me haces? This way. They're all listening to that football. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Why? Well, you know me, Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Ni es una civilización, un país civilizado. Me podía costar mujeres que usan zapatos. Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Over here. OK, 
Okay. Now we need to create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. No problem. You'll see. Go close those windows and the doors. Go on, quick. Create enough dust. This place will go. <laughs> All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier.
Stay with me. You okay there? I'm here. Shit. I think he's passed out, Dutch. Okay, let's move. We got more on the left here. What you ask. It's like I said. Fusa knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could live right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn warship. You kinda have to hand it to this feller. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight or we won. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Okay. 
Let's get to it. I'll get the ammunition. More coming down the left side, fellas. Now you got the backup. You said you were getting us a goddamn boat, Hercule. I am. What do you want? To do? You want to stop up here? Right. We need to deal with them. Closing in on. Because if we don't, we're gonna die here and now. Okay, then. Follow me. This is kind of fun.
us must go and use the cannon. You go, Arthur. I'll gladly hold them off this beach a while longer. You sure? Just certain, son. My valet. You think that cannon will be enough? Only one way to find out. Christ's sake, how many men is Hussar got? That's the problem. It doesn't matter how many we kill. He will have the money to get more. Watch out! Die! We will have to climb up on the side. This way. With you. That one's going right for Dutch. Corsa, Kona. I got him. Let's go. from here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well. And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions. So when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However. In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hey, cool. Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hey, cool. we follow you. Hanale, this way. Quick, let's get up around the back of that artillery post. There's 
two guards. Arthur, come on. Get your knife ready. You take out the first guy, and I'll get the other one, okay? You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> Come on, run! for the others to catch up. I'll get the dynamite rigged on these cannons. There'll be more coming. We'll hold them off. Up here, Arthur. We'll have a better view. <laughs> Up here, Arthur. Quick! <gasps> Mark Busa's men coming through the seats. Okay! Come on! Let's take them off before they get too close!
Oh, I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Enough. Oh, I've had enough of this, Arthur. The rifle? Sure. Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? Or are you gonna die? Put your guns down. Here! Let me go. You saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain Sam... Let's go. Gentlemen! Oh. Back to the ship! Come on! What happened to Fusar? He escaped? I didn't see him! Damn it! Reinforcements! Is up there, in the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. Oh, this goddamn idiot. Come on! He's shooting. We have to take him down. Here. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> We survived. Just about. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. We don't cut and run now. Head back to Blackwater. No. 
and why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck has turned. You know, and I ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Make our escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? Susan! Strauss, you here? <laughs> Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around. And see if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful.
you're a dead man. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. I guess I'm coming to see you in the cake. Arthur's here. Oh, Arthur, oh, you're alive. Just about. Come inside. Come on, look it's raining. You. Hey, everybody, look who's here. How y'all doing? Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Okay. <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody get me a cup of coffee or something? Yeah. Boss, Mrs. Adler, who saved us, Dutch? After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> <laughs>
We buried Jose at Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government, and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Uh, ask everyone you could find, did you, Bill?
You saved us, Arthur. Oh, man. Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not going to come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss. I, not now. I'm begging you to. They're going to hang him and break my... The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. Now? Yes, now. Give me at Doyle's Tavern a million avenue. Okay. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing's been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we've gone through. 